erupted in January, thus causing difficulties for residents to access their homes. The fence around the NDC compound has taken up what was being used by the community as a road for both pedestrians and vehicular traffic. Now it is only accessible to pedestrians who have to climb over discarded high mark in order to pass. Today, the residents said enough is enough and demanded back their street. Ella Marks, a former head teacher, told Evening News that they are requesting access to their properties. Right now, we can't pass. The NDC put up their fence. And to add insult to injury, they leave this big old high mark there to block the little passageway. We went in and talked with them, but they refused to give us any reason for doing what they did. They haven't promised us anything. What we are saying that there is supposed to be a dam next to this canal. They have a map showing that there is supposed to be a dam. What we are saying, they should have fixed the dam before fencing the yard. They fenced the yard recently. She explained that a delegation met with the NDC when it held its statutory meeting and explained the situation. And when we told them that we need the dam because the dam has been eroded into the trench, one of the councillors said, well, if the, if the dam falls in the trench, you all got to lift it out. According to the residents, they were forced to use the dilapidated bridge which has no access to traffic and as such, they are concerned that if something happens in the village, it will be difficult for vehicles to access the community. He is saying that if the dam breaks away, then the owners is on the RDC, they should fix it, right? Because we are paying way. And uh, we are and we are saying here, we do all of us are saying here, you understand? But if the RDC want to put the fence there, they should have called us. You know? The whole thing here is absurd. They have no respect. They disrespect us. The NDC's closest neighbor, Sally Rajagadu, is also affected by the fence. If I don't clean the vine from the NEC, they don't clean. Now I tell them about this fence because this is the only access to the children to nursery and primary. And the old people, if anything happens to them and they're going to come to the hospital, this is the access through because the rest of the street bad. You see we bridge where the children got walk over? Anyhow, this NEC is the only NEC up new AFC win in the whole region 6. They have a new brand tractor and trailer. They set the fence in the place so they could bring it to pick up garbage around the village. We never see the tractor or the trailer yet. It parked up at one chairman yard, one of the, the council yard. As the villagers carried on their protest, the NDC chairwoman, Bridgette Chichester, received information from the Regional Democratic Council that a contractor was given the job to remove the derelict excavator. According to the chairwoman, the fence around the NDC compound was deemed necessary to secure its assets, which include heavy-duty machinery. Look at this dam here. When the children got walk for go to school, if they slide and they fall in this trench of rainy day, what happened to them? The former NDC chairman Forbes Moore says what the NDC is doing is cruel and inhumane, adding that the council is bullying the residents.